Well, that was Newsday, um, and it uh, was a scary one. Um, you know, when uh, when we headed into when we headed into when we head into uh, Newsday, I'm always very wary of kind of uh, a double take. And today was one of those days. Um, EIA inventory reports came out and uh, reported a large inventory draw, which it's a bullish um, news event. So you would think that we would spike. And the immediate move was up, as you can see here, but ultimately it turned around just below 46 and a half and just dropped. Um, we, it looked like we were going to 45 even, um, but it really only got to, I think, 45.12 and then started its climb back up. And we almost made it right back to 46, unbelievably. Um, so ahead of news, um, because I was bearish and just like um, I said I would do this morning, if we made it above 46, I said I was going to add to my shorts, and that's exactly what I did. So at 46.13, um, I added to my shorts, which was uh, right here. Um, so we climbed higher um, right before news. Um, I just didn't want to wait until the last minute to, to uh, have my order executed, because you, you never know. Um, we were flirting with 46, so 46.13 at the time seemed really good. Um, no regrets there, because of course we did drop. Um, we dropped to uh, near 45, like I said, um, and my expectation was that we were going to test this for at least a little while, and my hope was that we were actually going to go and revisit 44. I was expecting a much larger drop today. Um, instead, the bulls were hanging on for dear life and brought us back up to 46. Um, I basically waited out the entire day and uh, decided to ultimately sell at a quarter to four. So a little over, uh, a little under half an hour ago. It, the time now is uh, quarter, almost quarter past four. So 15 minutes after North American markets or East, U US East Coast markets have closed. Um, and uh, I sold at 45.45, uh, um, which is more or less where we are right now following the close. Um, basically, when you look at the chart, uh, this big move up yesterday after API news at 4.30, um, it was dramatic and I thought it was overblown. So when we fell, I expected it to retrace this full amount. And the fact that we didn't, the fact that the bulls were strong enough to keep us within half of this um, rise following the API news, to me suggests that, you know what? my bearish sentiment might just be wrong. So I decided that to just accept the fact that maybe I just got lucky um, today with my, uh, with my short bet and I sold at 45.45. Uh, and as you'll see on uh, my tradingjournal.ca account down here, um, it was a five and a half hour hold. Um, this is an HOD, it's uh, the, uh, you can find that here, um, it's the beta crude. Um, oil ETF, it's a 2x ETF, um, and uh, the return was 3.03% uh, or just about 400 bucks um, on a $100,000 portfolio. Um, it was a very small position, uh, I should actually explain that. So I typically bet about 20% um, to 25% on a position. Um, I really didn't have the confidence today, so I cut it in half and only bet about um, an eighth uh, or half of what I usually do, so 12.6%. So it was a very small position, uh, weighted, weighted ROR of only 0.4 or 0.38%. So that's why it's only 400 bucks. Um, but you know what? I mean, 400 bucks is 400 bucks. Um, I'll take that any day and every day, right? <laughs> so yeah, you know, I still think that we are going uh, lower. Uh, that's that's my feeling, but I have to accept the fact that. You know, I've been pretty wrong this week, so I'm just going to return to my, you know, proven rules. And when I'm being offered a three percent profit on a position, the smart play is to take it. So that's what I did. Um, tomorrow, if we continue to fall, then I have another short position at 45.30, and um, that will become profitable. So I'll maybe get an opportunity to play that. And instead, if I'm wrong and we head right back up, then I'll have that money available again, including the new profits, um, to play short 
on that rally um, because for the time being I'm going to remain bearish if we're climbing. Um, we're kind of in the middle of what I see as kind of our range for the summer. So higher than where we are now, I'm buying short and lower than where we are now, I'm buying long. Um, and I'm gonna just play that, that range. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I returned to my rules. It feels right. And regardless of what happens tomorrow, up or down, I think this was the right move. I'd love to hear what you guys did and if you were able to benefit from some of the volatility that we had intraday. Um, hit me up down below on uh, YouTube. Um, use the comment form or uh, over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my trades and portfolio. Um, and otherwise, I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow morning before trading at 9 a.m. Cheers.